Hello everyone and welcome back to Milo Farms. We have another Model T video today. We're in the 1915 Model T that you saw a few weeks ago. Um, we're gonna do a short driving lesson on how to drive the Model T. People are always asking, well, how do you drive it without a gas pedal? Model T doesn't have a gas pedal. So we're gonna talk about that. We're gonna talk about the pedals. We're gonna talk about all the different levers and buttons and how it all works. And we're gonna show a demonstration of how to drive it if it was a standard Model T, just the way Henry made it. And then down the road, we're gonna have another video that talks about how to drive it with a Ruxtel two-speed rear axle which eventually gives the car four speeds. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. So we've got the car idling. Right now the car is running on the magneto, as you can see down here with the switch. So the car is making its own internal power in its magnets for the spark. And we're gonna talk about the different levers that we have right now. So right here, we did said it didn't have a gas pedal. This right here is the throttle. So that's how you speed up and slow down the engine. Over here on the left side, you have another lever. It looks just like the throttle lever, but backwards. That is the spark, advance, and retard. So anytime you start the car, you want to have the throttle all the way to the top, or excuse me, the spark advance all the way to the top so you don't get a kickback on the engine and hurt your arm. Then, when your car is running at high speed, you would have the spark advance all the way down, full advance. And then when the car is just idling or driving normally, we can do it about halfway down and then you'll just kind of play it by ear on that as to how you want to do it. Um, it's all about how the car sounds and how it's running and, and feeling and everything and you just set it, set it appropriately. So then over here we have the emergency brake lever or the hand lever as they call it. Um, for most people, you can kind of think of it as a park lever. Uh, anytime the car is parked, you would put it in this, if you had to use it as an emergency brake, you could also use this as an emergency brake. It would break the rear wheels. Then, down on the floor, you have the left-hand pedal, which they call the clutch pedal. What I always like to refer to it as is the low and high-speed pedal. Just forget about a clutch pedal. Just worry about it being the low and high-speed pedal. So the position it's in right now, it's in neutral. If I push it down to the floor, it'll go into low gear. And if I take my foot totally off of it and we're driving down the road, it'll be in high gear. You only have two speeds on a standard Model T. The middle pedal is the reverse pedal. So if I have this pedal in neutral and I push on this, the car backs up. Just like putting your normal car in reverse. This pedal over here is the brake pedal. Works just like a brake in any other car. You push on it, the car stops. In the middle here, we have the Ruxtel shifter lever. And we're not talking about the Ruxtel at all today in this video, so I've left it in high. That's the standard Ford gearing. We're not going to touch it at all. We're just talking about how to drive a standard Model T today. And over here, this little knob, that's your mixture adjustment for the carburetor to richen or lean out the mixture. So we're going to go ahead and get started. So right now I have this hand lever. I'm going to put my foot on the left hand pedal, the high and low speed pedal, and I'm gonna hold it right in the middle position that it's in. And I'm gonna put the hand lever all the way forward. So now the car is in neutral, the parking brake is released, and we're just sitting here idling, just like you'd be sitting at a stoplight. We're gonna go ahead and start going forward. So I'm gonna give it a little bit of throttle, and at the same time, I'm gonna give it the low pedal, and we're gonna start moving. Once we get out of the driveway here, We'll go ahead and make some stops, and you can kind of see what that looks like. So here we go, we're speeding up. Now we're ready to shift into second gear. So you let off the throttle just a little bit, let the pedal all the way out, and now you're in high gear. So we're coming up to a stop here. Put the, throttle, the pedal to the neutral position and you can apply the brakes. Anytime with a Model T, you want to always pump the brakes. You don't want to just lay on to them unless you absolutely have to. The brake bands are lubricated in oil and so they need to be able to stay cool. So again, here we go. We're in neutral right now. Road's clear. We're going to give it a little bit of throttle and low pedal. And here we go again.
soon as we get around this corner, we'll put it in the high. And there's high speed. So anytime with a Model T, I know people will tell you they can go fast, they can do this, they can do that. The, model, the motor is not designed to go above 1500 revolutions per minute and the car should never go about above about 40 or 45 miles per hour if it's an original vehicle. Uh, it's just too hard on the, the equipment overall and people start having breakdowns. But if you're going 35 miles an hour or 30 miles an hour, it can do that all day long without any issues. So right now we're just cruising along, we're in high. We're probably going about 20 miles an hour right now. So we're coming up to the next corner. There's a couple of different options. You can just retard the throttle and coast around the corner, which is what we're gonna try to do here. If you had to apply the brakes, you could apply a little bit of brake, go around the corner, and then you can give it a little bit of throttle out of the corner to speed back up again, no problem. So we'll go ahead and do another stop here. Put in the pedal, the low and high speed pedal, and apply the brake. And now we're gonna to wanna to back up. So you've got the pedal in neutral on the left, give it a little bit of throttle, and just go ahead and press the reverse pedal. And there it goes backwards. To stop, same thing with the brake. And then again, low pedal to get going again. So hope everybody enjoyed the video. Hope everybody got to learn a little bit about a Model T. And we'll have another video coming up talking about the Ruxel two-speed rear axle. That'll be up in a few weeks, maybe. So hope everybody enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you next time at Milo Farms.